Hello everyone, this is Mehek from Crafty Minds. Today we are going to work on Pokemon. Let's see which one. It's Jigglypuff! You know, Jigglypuff is a pink Pokemon with spherical body. It has a pointed ears with black inside and large blue eyes. It has small stubby arms and slightly longer feet. Let's start. So I have made this on a plain piece of paper and used acrylic paints in this. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a Jigglypuff and then we are going to fill colors in it. Let's see what all art materials we need for this project. We are going to use a plain piece of paper, acrylic paints, a cup of water, paint brushes, I'm going to use one flat brush and one round brush, piece of cloth to wipe our paint brushes, and I'm going to use marker to draw. You can also use pencil. So let's start. Um, we are going to start with Jigglypuff eyes and we are going to make the eyes in center of our paper and because Jigglypuff has a big large eyes so I'm going to make one eye a little bit on this side like this it's not exactly in the center because we are going to make both of our eyes like two eyes in the center so for that one we are going to make on this side a little bit on this and the other one is going to be on the other side like this is the center you can see where is my finger one is on that and the other eye I'm gonna make next to it this is gonna be a little bigger too so it's big circle like this okay then we are going to make another circle in there like this and same over here, another circle in there. Then we are going to make tiny circle for reflection like this. Now we are done with our eyes. We are going to make Jigglypuff here. So for that, above the eyes, so these are eyes, above in center or like from this eye you can put just one dot so above this eye you can put one dot like this and then we are going to start making a curve from here so this is to make jigglypuff here so see like this make a curve a little bit curve like this all the way up and then we are going to come down all the way down like this and then we are going to make the curve going all the way in so we're going to make another curve going all the way in like this so that's Jigglypuff here now we are going to work on ears for that going to from here from this curve we can see going to make a line little like a slanting like it's going a little bit down like this little curve line going down like this and then I'm going to keep my three fingers like this you can also do that like keep your three fingers like this and put one dot same they're going to do over here keep your three fingers little slanting way and put the dot on both the sides so then from here I'm going to make one line going all the way up it's a curve line going a little bit little curve or slanting line going all the way up and then from here line coming it's a little bit curve line going to come all the way down like this and then in here we're going to make one line like this and leave little gap on both the sides 
then make one line from here going all the way up and then from here make a line coming all the way down so it's inside part of that ear and I'm just going to fill this black because Jiggly Puff inside of the ear is black And if you are using pencil, you can use any color to if you are use you can use crayons, markers, whatever to fill in this. Or if you are planning to use paint, you can fill paint later on. Okay. Then from here we are going to go all the way up like a curve line going up and then from this line come all the way down, join that dot like this and then again we're going to make a line in center of the ear and make sure to leave little gap on both the sides and then from this side we are going all the way up then come all the way down and join this line okay like this and then same I'm going to fill in here okay so let's make our mouth first over here so for that below eyes in center of these eyes we're going to make one line like this and you like this and for tongue we are going to make a curve like this then we are going to fill this black too and I'm just going to use marker and fill this with marker only again you can fill this with any color which you're using don't have to fill this with marker only. okay so now we are going to make our body that's gonna be around like this so for that I'm going to start from here and make a curve like this and then I'm going to keep my two fingers over here and put the dot over here. Same, I'm going to put, um, make a curve from here. Come all the way down a little bit and put my two fingers over here like this and put a dot over here. So again, if you are using pencil, what you can do Suppose if you are using pencil for that, you can start from here, go all the way down, round, and make a round like this. Then you don't have to put the dot if you are using pencil. You can just erase the line later on. Okay? So right now, I'm using markers, so I'm going to put the dots like this, to, because our arm is going to come from here. So Jigglypuff arm and feet. So now we're going to make another curve, just a little bit curve line like this. Then I'm going to keep my two fingers, put the dot. Then same over here, I'm going to make a little curve from here. And then I'm going to put my finger and put the dot over here too and just join these in here. Actually, I'm going to make this like that. See, this is for arm and this is for feet again if you are using pencil you can just make a curve or a round like this and then later on you can erase that extra line so you can overlap your arm up there so let's see how to make arms now from here i'm going to make a curve like a slanting line going all the way down like this make a curve go all the way in like a line going in and then make a curve in here same over here on the other side I'm going to start from in here 
make a slanting line going all the way down and then make a curve like this the line going all the way in going up in a little bit in and then you can just make a little bend like this ah. so if you are using pencil and you have your extra line in here this one you can just erase that line so now we are going to work on feet for that from here going to make a, like a line going all the way down little curve in here and then you can stop then again we can make a line going all the way up it's a little curve line going all the way up and join this then on the other side same going to make a curve line going all the way down make a curve like this and then go all the way up and join this right so we are done with our drawing now we are going to fill colors in it and i'm going to use acrylic paints for that so you can use any colors you can use pencil colors watercolors or crayons oil pastels whatever works best for you so i'm going to start with my round brush and white color so I'm just going to fill this small round that's the reflection one with the white color and outside this area of the eye it's also white so I'm just going to color this white so we always start with a lighter shade and over here white for the eyes is the light one so I'm gonna start with that eyes okay then Jigglypuff has blue eyes so we are going to fill blue color inside this circle and I'm using flat brush for that if you think you want to use continue with the small brush you can use small brush too I'm just going to fill blue color inside this and on the other eye too Going to take extra paint off actually here. And if you need time to draw, you can always pause the video and draw okay okay so we are done with that now I'm going to use the same brush and do red color for tongue it's actually not a red color it's a little bit darker shade of pink so I'm just going to take red over here wash my brush and just put a little bit of white in here it's kind of darker shade of pink so I'm going to use that if you think it's too light we can add a little bit more red in here and see if that works yeah Okay, now we are going to do a Jigglypuff 
that's gonna be pink color so for that we are going to mix our shade I'm going to put red color over here then wash my brush take white color put it in here because we need a lighter shade of pink here it depends on you if you are using paint and you are mixing your pink color so which shade you want if you want a little darker shade of pink you can add more red in it if you want light pink so you can add white so you can slowly slowly add white in red color and see which shade you want so it's up to you so I think I'm gonna go with that shade so it's this one so it's kind of the light pinkish see so I'm just going to go with that and see I'm going to make my strokes in a curve like this and again you don't have to use paints you can use any color which is easily available at your place so I'm just going to finish first one half of this and then I'm gonna go to the other half same uh, try to go in one direction any medium you are using any colors just take in one stroke I'm just using a little water too sometimes if you think your brush is really dry you can just take a little water and put it on your paint and make it little see it will work nicely sometimes acrylic colors on paper they get really dry so you need water for that hmm? Here over here I'm just using vertical strokes on this side like this and over here it's curved but going all the way down like vertical so it's not like zigzag strokes or like that so always try to strain one stroke see like this and over here it's curved so go and make it little curve from here
and if you want you can also give the background when you're done with your jigglypuff you can just color any background for it but that's your wish See over here it's curved like this. You can always put the paint and then just move your brush accordingly for that, see? So like over here you can just put the paint like this a little bit and then just spread the paint and then move your brush according to the shape over here sink so we are done coloring this now I'm going to add little shadows in here and show you how to do that that's optional it's up to you if you want to add shadows you can if you don't want to that's totally fine so what I'm gonna show you for that I'm just going to take this shade put it on the side and add little red in it because we want a little darker shade of pink over here now darker than this shade so I'm just going to add pink in here just hold a second I'm gonna add more red I'm gonna add more red in here I think that it's good and if you think it's too dark you can add white in there to make it light so and just to give our shadows uh, try not to dip your brush in water just to dry it using your piece of cloth or paper towel or napkin whatever you're using so i'm just going to take my color and just dab one or two times on piece of cloth to take extra color off then i'm going to add shadow down there see going to add a little bit more color like this I think I'm gonna add a little bit more red in there because that's not that dark. Yeah, that looks good now. See? So I'm just going to blend in there. And just to blend these two colors, you can take the same shade, pink one, the one which you used over there, and just put it over here. And just blend it. See, I'm gonna take a little bit and put it over here on this side. And then a little bit on this side of I'm just giving shadows on feet right now and then on arms a little bit down here let's blend it and over here blend it in there like this now under under this here like this a little bit going real up just try to blend that yeah make sure you don't take a lot of paint dry your brush see and yeah and I'm going to color my eyes one more time because sometimes there are a few colors 
where you need at least two layers on that so right now you can see the eyes are kind of light blue color so I'm just gonna make it a little darker going to add one more layer so you will find the difference I'll show you See, this one is a little darker and this one is a little light. So here you go, see like this. So also sometimes like the second layer that makes your strokes smooth. So first layers are sometimes not that smooth but the second layer is always smooth and soft. It will make your colors really soft and smooth. So here we go. So I'm just going to add a little white color in here. Yep, like that. Okay. So we are done with our jiggly puff. Hope you enjoyed working on Jigglypuff today. If you like the video, make sure to thumbs up and subscribe our channel to know what's next in this Pokeball. Thank you.